Hello everyone, Ryan from Earthroom Gardens and welcome to part three of this cleanup. It's been really pleasing to see that the areas that I cleaned up in the first two parts basically still have absolutely no weeds regrowing or any of the vine coming back. So that means that everything that I've pulled out by hand has definitely done its job. Um, there is no regrowth and essentially that is the reason why I take a little bit longer than some other guys on channels you might see. That's why I don't slash everything with the whipper snipper. So the plan for today was to finish that side part that you just saw at the beginning of this intro and then make my way through this mess here. And I wasn't really sure how much I'd get through. I didn't know how thick it was going to be. Um, I was potentially going to attack this part that you're seeing right now, but I got a little bit sidetracked with stuff that was stuck on the side of the house. I ended up thinking that it was more important to clear everything that was growing up along the walls of the house. I had a bit of an interesting altercation with the tenant of one of these properties um, and you will witness that or you'll get to hear the audio of that happening towards the end of this video so hang around for that if you like a little bit of controversy um, you do see me getting a little bit worked up with the argument that I have with the fella hope you enjoy this one thanks for watching as always don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the content hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and drop me a comment love hearing for you, from you
Okay, that's another section done. Um, that back corner there that I'm walking towards now is an absolute hot mess. Now, there's a heap of root there still and there is this wire that was put across the fence to hold this morning glory up. I don't know what genius thought that was a good idea, but nevertheless, it's there. And all those roots are making their way under the fence into the neighboring property. So I'm not really able to remove them. So that will have to do but it will be much easier to manage 
uh, from now on as a part of my two to three weekly mowing visits I'll include that in the cleanup so yeah this section fully accessible now uh, much tidier majority vast vast majority of the roots of the vine and morning glory have been fully removed by hand and I'll give it a spray just before I go all right and now we are on to the next section hope you're enjoying Just in case anyone is wondering what is in here, it is laundry facilities. Old laundry facilities, not in use. Shower, toilet, oh my, kitchen. I had no idea. I've got to be careful because I don't know what creatures are living in here. This is something out of a horror movie. Looks like a bedroom. I've been mowing this lawn at this property for about three years now. And I've never once come in here. And it's creeping me out a little bit. So I won't come in here again. But now you know as well as me. How exciting. All right, I should get back to work.
going to say this once because honestly I'm just done. If you use another power tool again, I'll make you leave. You have no right to do that. This is not your property. I have every right to because I have to protect my mental health. Do you think I look healthy? Do you think I look happy? This is this has nothing to do with the fact that I'm doing my job. <laughs> and I've already, I've already taken it up with the property manager. It has everything to do with the fact that last week you lied to me, that's your truck, and I saw that here last week, and you claimed you weren't here. No, you asked me if I was here a couple of days prior to that, and I said no, I wasn't. Same thing anyway. You Absolutely not. If Why you... am I obliged to let you know when I come and do my work? I'm stuck here 24-7. Not my problem, I'm sorry. I've been accommodating to you. Well, your job's not my problem. And your problem is not my problem or job. I'll just use that same logic against you. Okay. I will stop you. How? I'll just remove your stuff. Wonderful. Can you take all, my, all the green waste to the trailer, please? I'm just concerned about the power tools. The green waste isn't causing me noise. Am I using a power tool right now? No, you're not. And do you know why? Because I'm still being accommodating. I could have used the hedge trim to cut all this down, but I'm using it by hand. I'm using these headphones constantly, pretty much since I woke up today, Great. Not just because of you, but because of things I can't control in any way, like planes and cars. Yes. And, and accommodation, like, no one's made accommodations to me, like, I don't... I've got text messages to prove otherwise, I'm going to continue working. Prove right? otherwise, I'm have like, I live this shitty fucking existence and you think I've been accommodated for? If you were polite to me, I would have been much more accommodated to you. I was very polite to you in the beginning, but I'm, I'm doing this for my health, you realise? You're doing this for money. Yes, it's a living, to make a living, absolutely. And what's this? I'm trying to make a living. Too bad. I've warned you, what's going to happen?
sneeze wasn't too loud for him. Hey everyone. Um, okay, so a little bit of context for that conversation that just happens between the tenant of the property and myself. I hope you were able to hear it. Um, if you didn't, basically what's happened is that is the young fella that has the issues with sound, the, the high sensitivity to sound. And he is the one that I have been reducing the amount of power tools that I'm using for in order to accommodate um, the problem that he has there because he suffers from autism. Now, he has been sending me text messages every time I am out there working asking why I'm not letting him know. Um, there's only been one time that I haven't told him that I was going to be there and it slipped my mind. Um, he is a tenant, he is not the owner of the property. So technically I'm not even obliged to let him know about that. So he's just come out there now because I sent him a text message yesterday saying that I would be here between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. It got to about 12, 12.30 and he said, you're still here. And I said, yes. I said, I told you I was getting here between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. He said, no, you said you were getting here at 9.30, leaving at 10. Anyway, I've taken it up with the property manager, told him, look, I don't like being spoken to this way. Um, he said, send me a copy of all communications you've got with him. And about 10 minutes after that, he's come out here and essentially threatens to remove everything off the property and not allow me on his property, to which I said, well, you can't do that. You don't live here. Um, when he did say he would take everything away, you might have heard I actually said, well, can you take the green waste to my trailer too? That would be wonderful. Um, look, I am more than happy to be accommodating for people, especially if they do have some sort of mental illness or whatever it may be. Um, you should know me by now that I am not one to judge. That being said, I do not tolerate rudeness or impoliteness. And if people are going to talk to me like that, then I don't feel obliged to be as accommodating as I have in the past. So I'll pass all this information on to the property manager here. Um, and it will go from there. Um, he sent me another text just in the meantime now saying, let me know who, you, who you're talking to and I will speak to them. Um, so unfortunately, we're dealing with someone who's got a high sense of entitlement. Um, and you know what? End of the day, one person is not better than another. We are all the same. Let's all treat each other the same way. Um, treat people the way you would like to be. Treat yourself. yourself. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. I've got a little bit more work to go. Maybe I do use power tools. Maybe I don't. Heaven forbid. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. And um, yep, I'll chat to you again when I finish this video. Thanks.
everyone that is today's visits done and dusted and super happy with the amount of work we got done um, a lot of progress made and yeah yeah a lot of hard work but it's starting to look really nice and clean it is an old property so it's going to look weathered um, but it can still look tidy out in the garden so I'm not going to walk down to the first section I cleaned up today again because that's where the tenant is and he has come outside again and absolutely blasted me and while I am able to take care of myself he is a big boy um, he's probably about six foot two and a good hundred plus kilo so I don't know what his mental stability is like so I'm not going to go out of my way to push any buttons um, but I've got before and afters of that section as well anyway all right so I will leave the outro at that I hope you enjoyed this one pretty satisfying for me to be honest hopefully satisfying for you too uh, next time I'll be here next week unfortunately for the tenant but I've got a job to do and I will tackle this section and once I have got that done I will definitely get that done before I leave next time I will probably start tackling this garden bed here and then right towards the end we'll go into that monster of a corner so maybe a few more visits left um, believe it or not I actually did mow this lawn nine days ago and it needs another one that's how crazy things are at the moment it's summer here but our spring growing season seems to have just started it's absolutely wild anyway thanks for watching as always don't forget to drop me a comment let me know if I handled the situation well enough um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content Thanks for watching. See you next time.